Okay, what's up everybody? Tactical Gaming back. Um, welcome to episode 2 of Let's Build a Nuclear Power Plant. Uh, let me real quick explain why I was gone for the past few days. Um, it snowed uh, 10 inches at my house where I live. And um, Sunday I took a break playing in the snow and then Monday I uh, went to a local amusement park, a theme park um, that's about an hour and a half away called Bollywood. I'm sure if any of you like roller coasters or anything like that, I'm sure you're part of it. Um, and then I, uh, on Tuesday, the snow was still around, good, good tall snow, and uh, I went sledding with a friend. So I had zero time to make a video or upload, so I'm sorry, but we are back in full force. explain what I've built so far. Um, now you're probably wondering why didn't you record this. Um, I have recorded this, but um, something corrupted the file. <laughs> um, but uh, and another reason I'm actually kind of glad it worked out that way because this, this stuff took forever to do. This stuff here is like the most basic stuff we need to run these three reactors, so uh, not that much uh, missed. So, uh, anyway, let's continue. Today I want to work on a number of things. Um, creating the cooling systems for these three reactors here, and then also creating what actually pumps the coolant.
and unlike I've done in this building or that building over there, I'm gonna lay a footprint with uh, the floor. And that is much, much better. Okay. I know that hole's off center. And I don't really care because you won't be able to see it. Anyway, let's get the floor laid out. See what I mean? It's right here. Water is running all over all of these uh, tanks, or all, all of these pumps, and there's water that will be going straight down. And I just found out it's just off center.
should go across. And what will happen is that lava bucket will go in here. Forced iron or something like that. Okay. Now we can cover this part of it. So we can now see.
is necessary, even though I could have done it differently, uh, I could have just and then building, uh, build craft pipes probably, or maybe more, more of these pipes that will be bringing fluid out of this room, uh, and into, into the uh, let me explain real quick what this is over here, and then I'll end this video. Um, this is the control room for the place, and essentially what this is, these screens are computers, uh, computer interfaces that are completely uh, separate from uh, anything, and they're their own program built in computer craft uh, as code, and then I have each of these cables from here that I made in the first episode that go to eat one of these reactors. Each one goes to a different reactor. This one I believe is reactor one. So this is one, this is two, this is three. So one, two, three. Um, so closest to furthest, closest to furthest like that. Um, but uh, all of this, this is uh, independently controlled so you can turn this uh, on, you can put in the control rods, all that stuff can be controlled from this panel, and the same for each of these. So, uh, that's how that works, and, uh, yeah, this is the control room building, I guess is what you could call it, but, uh, yeah. So, I believe I'm going to leave this video here. This one was a little shorter than, uh, of them, but... Uh, we did get a lot done. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. Uh, be sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're almost at 300 now. Wow. Uh, thank you a lot. Thanks so much. Uh, but, um, yeah. So, make sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, uh, and, um, share. And I guess that's it. So I will see you all in the next video.